Hey y'all, hey y'all. Welcome to my channel. This is Straight Facts Commentary where I give you my unpopular opinions in everything pop culture. So please, please, please stick around and subscribe for more. Hey y'all, I am back again with another video and in today's video it is straight buzzer topics You see the title and this is where I compile a couple of different topics in bite-sized chunks and kind of give my opinion on each thing No need for a full video just an overview of each little topic So if you're interested in that pop hip-hop conspiracy theories female rap trending topics my very unpopular opinion bitch then go on ahead and subscribe and let's get into this video okay so this first topic is about lotto and nikki so apparently lotto had an interview that she just did recently and she spoke about like her top favorite female rappers i think she was supposed to give top three or top five i think it was top three and you know she named her female rappers but people feel like she named nikki minaj without directly stating her actual name because as we do know lotto has had issues with Nicki minaj after her whole big twitter spat with her and this and that but before lotto had the twitter spat with Nicki minaj she was a huge barb she talked about her all the time she always praised her and said how much she loved Nicki. she got a tweet of her you know framed and she went on ig live like fanning out freaking out and so a lot of us do know that she was a barb before right so apparently people feel like she hasn't named Nicki minaj in the interview by calling her shoddy without actually like naming her but still gave her props as one of her inspirations some people feel like she was saying shoddy low i don't think she was saying shoddy low i do think she was talking about Nicki minaj so let's take a look at this so you had some inspirations throughout your career you For had sure. some people that you listen to For sure. females to be exact what are your sure. top three females of all time in hip-hop my top three my top three female rappers, rappers of all time, Dead or Alive. Yep, Dead or Alive. Okay. Kim. Gotta say Kim. Um, wait, my favorite or like the best? The best. The I'm going to say the, the best. best. I'm going to okay, say the best. Okay, okay, okay. Whew, I'm going to say um, Kim. Gotta say Kim. I'm going to say Left Eye. Rest in peace, Left Eye. And Shotty. Shotty. Okay. Shoddy. Okay. Well, let's. Okay, period, period, Lotto, period. So it does seem that Lotto has given Nicki Minaj credit, even though they have had their back and forth. Maybe there is a reconciliation in the future. Mm, maybe Lotto is trying to end the beef. Who knows? But this is really cool of Lotto because you have to give credit where credit is due. I'm really, really big about that. Like I preach about that. Even if you don't like how somebody does something or if you don't even necessarily like the person or you don't like this and that, I'm big on giving credit where credit is due, giving props where they need to be given. You can't deny the truth of matters, even if it hurts, even if it bothers you. The truth is the truth and Lotto gave her as an inspiration as somebody who has impacted her in a major way and that's just the truth. Nicki Minaj is at the top of the rap game. You know what I'm saying? You can't deny that regardless of what you want to say about her and I have my critiques about Nicki and I've always had my critiques about Nicki and none of my critiques that I've given about her have changed but she is at the top of the totem pole period. You can't deny that. So I respect Lotto for this a lot. So let me know what you think about that and let's move on to to the next topic okay so next up is miss megan the stallion and megan the stallion has been in conversations for a few different things um she's kind of been getting dragged low-key one thing that she's been getting talked about is apparently her being a snake and that being re-brought up into conversation because she was on live with her and her friends i guess at this restaurant or whatever and megan was basically telling her friend or her best friend who was sitting next to her like hey girl i've never met your man like what the hell you got a new nigga whatever the fuck and like i've never met him and the friend didn't really address it like that or whatever and she was just like um what's up with that why haven't i met your man <laughs> 
I thought this was so funny because I was like, okay, my girl. Like, I love Megan Thee Stallion down. I love a lot of her music, but there's probably a reason why you haven't met her man, girl. I'm not even trying to be funny, but we do know what happened between her, Kelsey, and Tory Lanez. And you know, allegedly, Kelsey was messing around with Tory. That was her dude, whether that was her exclusive boyfriend or a guy who was talking she was talking to either way whether my girl was talking to him or whether my girl was exclusively dating him that was her man right Megan the Stallion swooped in and threw her cheeks on that nigga so 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 with that being the case um if her new best friend hasn't introduced Megan the Stallion to her new man there's probably a reason for that and I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna judge her friend because you know if I was Megan's friend and I've had toxic friendships before. Like, I feel like I'm still in toxic fr- toxic friendships low-key. You know what I'm saying? Like, we've all had that situation. <sighs> I wouldn't be in... I would not be rushing to introduce my man to Megan Thee Stallion either if she was my friend. I'm not even going to pretend. Like, nope. I'm sorry. I'm hiding my nigga underneath my armpit. I'm hiding him real... I'm tucking him real close underneath my armpit, bitch. Sorry. Um yeah so i'm not even gonna sit up here and pretend like yeah anyway take a look at this you know you just got a new n- i don't even know the because n- i'm flabbergasted What's your wasabi though? why would you dip in my shit with a new boyfriend who is, who is this y'all know my best friend jayla scoot in closer all right you need to scoot in hey guys My day one best friend, my realest best friend, my only best friend. <laughs> I'm gonna try a little bit of this. Let me get a little bit of yellow stuff Why would you dip in my stuff? I don't, there's no other eel sauce. There's no other eel sauce, that's the one dip that I took. I didn't even double dip. What's wrong? You know you just got a new Now look at your wasabi in my eel sauce. That's not, I just ate all of my wasabi, first of all. I don't even know the All of a sudden, dipping in my That's your wasabi. What a new I'm sorry, I did yell. I did yell. <laughs> Cause I'm flabbergasted. What's your wasabi though? Why would you dip in my shit with a new boyfriend? Who is who is this? Who is this? All of my wasabi though. Who is this? It's my man, my man, my man. But that's not my wasabi. I'm mad. I'm mad as a no, bitch. No, you are not. That is not my. That is yours. That, that is not my yours. claim. Um, I don't even know this. Yeah, so y'all saw the clip. Um, I don't have really much else to say about that. Yeah, so mm-hmm. anyway, so yeah, so basically, also I've heard that Megan Thee Stallion is about to start a new liquor brand, a tequila brand. You know how Kendall Jenner had like a new like tequila brand that she put out. I never tried that, by the way, but I saw that it happened. Right? Apparently, Megan Thee Stallion is getting ready to do a tequila brand. Which, if she does, I'm trying it. The hell hot girl tequila yeah i'm trying it but the other thing is is that i saw people were saying we're like oh she's doing tequila wouldn't she do like brown or cognac which is a good point because she stay on that brown she'd be talking about brown i love brown excuse me oh bitch i'm sorry excuse me i love brown that is my favorite type of liquor and i do agree that that would make sense for her brand since she kind of talks about cognac and like brown liquors more than she talks about like vodka and tequila but let her do tequila she wants to do tequila then go on ahead and let her do that either way i'm gonna try it so yeah y'all let me know what you think about that and moving on to the next topic Okay, so the next topic is about Miss Bia and Cardi B because apparently Bia is back taking shots at Cardi B in a new record. So let's take a look at what she had to say. Okay, so Bia said, I hear bitches popping shit and that's so funny to me. How you saying you running down but you can't walk the beat? I didn't know I had it off because she didn't say shit to me. I'ma cop a new gun before I caught me a plea. 
Heard they want my low. I dropped it in Dubai. I can never turn my phone on just to cry on live. I hate a sneaky nigga. Pick a side. Oops. <laughs> okay, so Bia is coming at Cardi B heavy. She's saying, I'm not crying on live. You want to run up? Come run up. Okay, okay, Bia, I hear you. But at the same time, though, um, you know, she threw shots. I respect her for throwing shots, but at the same time, nobody's listening to Bia. So, you know everybody's like oh Bia's throwing shots at Cardi B who's you guys don't even support Bia though you guys don't support Bia though you know what I'm saying I understand it's admirable for her to like come at Cardi B I guess and sure I respect her for doing it but you guys aren't supporting Bia (laughs) it's just funny to me it's funny to me because it's like all this talk about oh my gosh Bia's a real rapper and she's doing this and she's doing that and Cardi B's not this and that I'm not saying that Bia isn't skilled and that Cardi B, you know, Cardi B can increase her skill. She needs to increase her skill. I agree with that, but you guys aren't supporting her. So it's hard to take y'all seriously when you guys big up Bia and put Bia on a pedestal, but you guys don't support her. Can we make that make sense? If you guys really wanted Bia to be something, she would be something. So you guys bigging up Bia just because she's coming for Cardi. Does that make sense? You're bigging her up. And making her feel like, ah, 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 but y'all aren't supporting her. You're only going to support her when she comes for Cardi or comes for somebody you don't like. Let's actually support Bia. (laughs) You know what I mean? Let's not give her this false sense of, anyway, y'all ain't going to hear me. Y'all are just going to cry. Anyway, move on. Okay, next up is Miss Normani. So apparently Normani has dropped some snippets to her album her upcoming album and she has been dropping snippets so this isn't anything new but she dropped a new one so let's take a brief listen within the copyright restrictions (laughs) okay i'm not playing the entire song for y'all y'all know where to go to look it up stop acting stupid and (laughs) let's take a look um I'm sorry, Normani. I'm not singing bling, bling, blau. Like nothing, nothing in my spirit is telling me bling, bling, blau is popping. I I don't know. Something about that is just not hitting. Like that's giving me like, it's making me cringe. I don't, I don't know. What? Bling, bling, blau. That's the lyric. I, I, I'm sorry. Maybe I need to hear the whole song to really get into what you're trying to execute with this, but no, bling, bling, blau is not doing it for me. Um, you know, I like that other song she previewed, though. The one she's like, boy, what you gonna do with it? Don't talk too much, just do this shit. That's still in my head. And I heard that, like, a month ago. A, you know, something close to a month ago. That snippet, mm-hmm, that's really doing it for my puss puss. But bling bling blau is not cracking my puss puss open okay anyway let's move on y'all say what you want but baby tate killed this freestyle say what you want but she did what she needed to do with this freestyle and she paid homage to everybody in this freestyle like oh baby tate can rap baby tate can i love baby tate hold on bitch i'm blown i just got up on the internet they said i'm a clone now i was born in 1996 so of course there's some shit i done picked up on they say i blink like nikki Dress like Kimmy, get real freaky on the track like Missy, cocky like Riri, rough like E V E, but I don't understand why niggas won't let me be me. Bitches B A B Y T A T E, the one they wanna shut up but they never ever will. Shout out to Miss Lauren, I might die up on that hill, all alone with nothing but all of my hundred dollar bills. While all of my haters is sucking dick for a deal, they don't want baby killing shit. Well, get on the pill, pop it, me biting, bitch, stop it. I'm sick of this shit. I need antibiotics, um, baby, let's be real. I can name a million women whose flowers I've given. Steal. It wouldn't be enough for you crabs in a bucket Fuck it, I go MC Ham, you can't touch it I been doing you gently like virgins I be burning your head just like Kermit I keep rubbing my hands just like Birdman Every time I see a new check, I'm earning Oh my gosh, I love Baby Tate She's so slept on She's so slept upon Okay, she slept upon And people say she imitates Nicki Minaj. She can be inspired by her. She can be inspired by lots of different artists. These rappers are inspired by multiple people. And maybe you see little pieces of other artists in them. But that doesn't mean that they're trying to copy them or trying to be them. 
You know what I mean? Like maybe she does have her eyes blink like Nicki Minaj or you see some old, but it's just, it's called inspiration. People just take stuff to in there so quick to rah, 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 attack somebody. Like hop off her dick. You feel me? Anyway, I love Baby Tay and she's so much of her own self. And if you guys actually listen to Baby Tay as an artist, delved into her as an artist, then you would see that. Like she's so gifted. Anyway, I just wanted to highlight her and let's move on. So let's move on to Nikki herself and the girls from the Queen mix. So we do know that Nicki Minaj had a track with multiple rap females. I think it was called the Queen mix. And then also a lot of these females did end up on the Nicki Minaj or they were guest appearances and they did perform with Nikki on stage and they had a live together so check that out when I tell you I am so proud that they all came out there and stood on business they came out there and gave superstar I do this this is nothing it's nothing you know and um, they just radiated this glow. And the crowd, our second sold out show in Boston, the crowd couldn't get enough of them. I mean, it was like so freaking dope to see the crowd get excited over and over and over as the girls came out. And I, I'm, you know, it's just, <laughs> um, but I just wanted to say I was pleasantly surprised at just how everything came together um, and you know also I hope they can hear me also, also having a group of women together and being able to feel comfortable is the best feeling in the world being able to feel comfortable, being able to feel like it's authentic energy and love and respect. I respect them, you know, because I know them on a different level. So I respect the person as well as their craft, how they execute their craft. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to say guys, thank you, first of all, for being on the Queen Mix, and second of all, for having this come now full circle. It was, it was dope. What did you guys, how did you guys feel? I had my moment. <laughs> <laughs> oh my <laughs> God. Okay, we were, please don't do that. Okay, okay, wait, 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 okay. Let Aubrey speak first, because <laughs> obviously it was all about her. She, all night she keeps saying it's her moment. So. My moment. This is okay, like, it's our show. It was her moment. It was Nikki wanted to dance. I was like, Nikki ain't giving it. I cannot listen to these lyrics. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not messing up my lyrics. I was sweating her. I was like trying to be all dancing. Uh, I was in my, and she was, she was trying to do that gag reflex thing. So Girl, nobody wanted no gag reflex. Oh, nobody wanted oh, that. Nobody wanted that. I just want to say thank you guys for being, even though y'all was double teaming me all night. Right. Wait, girl, hold girl, on. Girl, say who was double teaming you. Come on. Who double teamed okay, you? Okay, okay. we'll talk about this later. Okay, okay. so listen. Um, I'm so thankful. Yes. Y'all was so sweet. And okay. it felt like a sisterhood when we rehearsed in the hallway together. <laughs> yes. And it was so funny because I was told out by to rehearse her lyrics and I'm getting on her and I got up there and forgot my shit. <laughs> so, <laughs> I, but, okay. It's okay. But, I, but I, I was all into it because Nikki was giving mother and she was giving like, yeah, you say, do your shit. So I'm like, okay, I'm doing my shit. I'm doing my shit. <laughs> and I feel like I was breaking it down and I was so happy. I was, was. Trying to, I was trying to get everything in, like the crowd. Damn, it's me right here. This Nicki Minaj. I'll go out for the come. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> And I was just thinking about how happy I was for everybody, especially Akbar. We all know. Yeah, this, this is her my moment. moment. It and then that. it was my moment because I'm a Leo and I'm from Boston. So exactly. I'm from Boston, right? Exactly. Yeah, you had already been on the stage. Oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah. So she's trying to take my Yeah, and, and I'm going to and I'm gonna beat y'all to it. Y'all couldn't hear me or whatever, but at the end of the day, Nikki smiled at me. So, I look, I have she all that audacity. She did a job and she mm. exuded beauty, first mm -hmm. of all. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. you could tell that she was really rapping. Yes. And whoever didn't get her mic on is getting 
No, don't do that. They should still have their job. But look, at the end of the day, I had so much audacity. Nikki looked at me and look, I couldn't. They they was like, oh, Malibu, we couldn't hear you. Bitch, I don't care. Nikki smiled at me. Yeah, no, yeah. Just all y'all talk is my talk. Oh, all right, go ahead. I was the only uh, bitch up there with sneakers on. Geez. All these bitches out there, they hit I told wheels. them you said you had you in case a bitch wants him to send them down. Put up with the gear, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boom, boom, boom. Red the motherfucker. Let them hoes know. Yeah, period. All right. She's like. But Nikki, I just want to tell you thank you for real. Yeah, like, we really so appreciate it. Yes, I love you, Nikki. And your great come as mother is just really like, yeah, well, help us for real. Thank you, Nikki Minaj, because you did not have to do this. You did. Yeah. Yeah. You didn't have to do this. And no. you know, JT did this. <laughs> I love JT has to set everything up. No. She coordinated. I, 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 I wasn't got. I, okay, because I'm a real girl's girl, and I went for uh-huh. to let them miss out. I'm starting group chats. Like, yeah, okay, no, how we about to go to Gag City? Yeah, because she did. I started the group chat because yeah, I wanted us did. to all make it to Gag City and Boston. Exactly. She they made me put my phone on the table. They brought me up. What y'all wearing? Which I went in and I, well, she saw she the she thinks she the baddest bitch out of the queen. Yes, she is. She is. Let her think that. I said, 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 I why did you yeah. coordinate wardrobe with me? Nobody told me about wardrobe. You didn't Girl, nobody told me. You you was already you came to Gay City already. Okay, so yeah. so was how was it? Wait. Yes. Wait. How was it being in Gag City? It was fun. It was, it was I'm Gag still gagging now. Gag City is so I'm still gagging now. If you haven't been to a show, you need to see a show. It's the most beautiful set. It's everything. And you always but she ain't performing my record that I want. You what you want? About what record? I want to hear Itty Bitty Piggy. All things go in their mm. own Nikki. I want to hear Itty Bitty Piggy. I told you that on But it's Who will probably play Itty Bitty Piggy in the DJ no, session? No, he played it. I want you to perform That's it. That's a classic, Nikki. Oh, I'm just going to say how to do that. Let me think about I'm it. I'm going to say how to do that. Well, signing out from Boston, Massachusetts. With sold out. 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 I love you guys for the love and support. Thank you. Y'all got extra loud for me. I love y'all. Thank y'all. <laughs> this is Akbar's show. If you guys have not noticed. Yes. <laughs> okay, so that was the live with Nikki and the girl. So let me know what you thought about that. And that's it for this one. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.